Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to tell you about, about um, the two different cycles of frozen embryo transfer. I've done both a medicated cycle and a natural cycle. Let me just get comfy. So at the beginning of this year, which was January 2020, I went through, so I was privately through the NHS and I, they only offer a medicated cycle, which is they basically take control of your body and they do it with um, like medication and nasal sprays and all the rest of it. Whereas a natural cycle, they just follow your natural ovulation and sorry if you can hear that's a dog driving me nuts. They follow your natural ovulation and then they put the embryo back in. I've just had that done two days ago and. Um, so let me tell you about the two differences. So in the medicated cycle, on day one of my period, I phoned up and now it was a couple of months ago, so let me remember, I had to go in and get a one-off injection. Um, so they give that into your tummy and if anybody's going for an injection, I've said this a million times in different videos, um, if you don't like injections, use a numbing cream. I've got a full video on it. Um, Sorry, I'm just trying to get the angle right. I've got a full full video on it and I always use numbing cream. I use it for everything. So I, I'm trying to remember. So they give you it in your stomach and then they give you away your medication. Now, the medication has to be taken, oh God, I think it was twice a day. Two times a day, morning and night. Or was it, or three times a day? I can't really remember, but it had to be taken at set periods as well, so it had to be like so many hours. So you had to remember. Then you go back in for more scans to check the lining of your womb. And then when you're closer to getting to the... So this, tell you what, this all takes about 12 weeks. It's so long. It's Your body is just like, oh my goodness. Now don't get me wrong, it's a really good thing. So... When I think back, I then went in and then you get a nasal spray. I think it's a nasal spray. Now, you carry that on with the tablets for another couple of weeks, I'm sure. Then, when you're close to it, you start getting, you go and get some pessaries. That's the ones you put up your vagina, isn't it? Yep, pessaries. So you've got your medication, which you take two or three times a day. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember. This video's like, uh -huh, this is now like November. So this was at the beginning of the year. So you've got your medication, you've got your nasal spray and you've got your pessaries. Now, side effects with them was uh, my headaches. I got really, really bad headaches. And with the pessaries, you... You had to take them at a certain time. So, say for example, I took one, I think it was like 12 hours apart, so it'd be, say, 7 in the morning and 7 at night or whatever. But you couldn't just stand up because it came like a little bullet shape and when you put it in, it basically had to melt into your body. So you couldn't just stand up and it'd fall out. So you had to lie there for a couple of minutes and I had to do this mid-dinner sometimes. I'd be like, oh shoot, I need to go and put a pessary in. So... At this point, my body is just like, oh my God, give me a break. Um, my boobs are agony. I'm constantly cramping. I'm so crabbit, so, so <clears throat> ratty and moody. At this point, I literally just want to have a period. My body is like, please just let me shed my lining. It is so bad. <laughs> it's just like, oh, it was... It was such a long process. So this is now mid March. So I had oh I had about four or five appointments between then to pick up um medication and between January and March to pick up medication and get scans, blood tests, and you name it. Transfer day the um on the transfer day they got me in. I'm trying to think. Did I get a trigger shot? No, I don't think I did. No, that was with the fresh cycle. So on the transfer day, you get a phone call and they basically say, come in and do your transfer. Now at this point, I am completely like, I'm so done. I've had enough. My, I'm so sore. 
I'm so tender. It's like my ovaries just want to fall out my arse. <laughs> I'm so tender. I just, I've had enough. So I go in for the transfer and it's no problem. Um, now the difference here and between a natural, I'll go through the natural cycle in a second. The difference is that your body basically, there's no signs. You don't know if there's anything happening because I already had the sore boobs from the medication. I had the sore stomachs. I was really moany. There was, there was nothing new. So I, I couldn't like tune into my body and say, well, this might be happening because I feel this. So in the end up, I just felt like when I went in for the transfer, I was cramping so badly, I just had enough. My body was, I genuinely felt as if it just wanted to have a period. It was crazy. Um, and it was negative, so I didn't, it didn't work. With a natural cycle, in my other video, I, I told you guys about moving clinics. So I moved from one clinic, Glasgow, to the other clinic. One was, pri um, was private and one was run by the NHS. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another video telling you the differences between um, those two clinics, what I like and what I dislike. So, um, I'm trying to think what I was saying there. Natural cycle. So I phoned up in day one of my period and they got me in on day 10 for bloods now. I'll explain more on in the next video about how they've done things slightly differently. So I went in for bloods. Now this is the only thing that you do in a natural cycle. So they monitor by bloods, or I think in some clinics they do it by um, scanning, like measuring the lining of your womb. So I went in a total of four times because I was quite a late ovulator. And yeah, so it, it went over about the space of two weeks. But if I was a kind of early ovulator, I would probably only had one or two blood tests. And then, pardon me, so I'm trying to think. So I went in for four blood tests and then they phone you and they basically say, your transfer, your 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 hormones are perfect, come in for your transfer. So got the day of the transfer. Now bear in mind, I've had no medication. I've had nothing. I'm just completely natural, um, apart from obviously the bloods and... I go in for the transfer. Now, my body feels so much more normal this time because, so this only happened three days ago. Yeah, three days ago. Um, I just feel so much more normal because my body is just going through a normal cycle and it is, yeah, I just feel much more in tune with my body. So it's it happened three days ago and I've done the transfer, again I'll talk about the differences of the two transfers in my next video. Um, I've done the transfer and the, I, I did get one a one-off injection in my stomach again just after the transfer to kind of AIDS, kind of the uterine lining, uterus lining, you know, uterine lining. Um, so now I'm in the two week way and I can I can basically tune into my body now and feel whether something's happening or not. And I'm now keeping a diary as well. So this is like day two and I feel slight kind of niggling as if my, I can't describe it, as if my, my womb's quite stiff. <laughs> it's a bit crazy. Anyways, so the Medicaid cycle, obviously they stop your body they control your hormones, they control everything about it. Uh, but with a natural cycle, it's pretty much like you're just going to have sex then. Hopefully, hope for the best. Um, I feel so much happier doing the natural cycle. Other clinics, well, through the NHS, they don't, I didn't get the option of a natural cycle, it was all medicated. But I genuinely feel that, like the natural one was much, much better. Purely because um, all I am missing is my fallopian tubes. I had an ectopic pregnancy and then I had a blocked tube as well. So I, I, uh, everything's been normal and I've got a wee girl already. So everything's normal there. But there is people who, who will have to do the medicated 
route and that's absolutely fine there's nothing wrong with that I just think because there was we knew the problems with me we knew that it was due to the fallopian tubes and yep I just found the natural cycle to be much easier but it's not going to say that it's going to work I don't know um but yeah if this video helped you then I'm so glad if you've got any questions pop them in the comments box below that's it and I'll, I'll try and help you as much as I can and for anyone going through IVF just now especially with Covid because it's been like clinics are shutting down opening up shutting down opening up and right now England's back in lockdown and Scotland is probably going to follow so I've just had the transfer just before probably it's going to close down but anyway thank you for watching guys I hope this helps and Stay tuned.